Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part three of this year's AFCON jersey review. A very interesting group because there's a team in there that I don't think I've ever seen a jersey from and that makes it extra exciting. It will also be the first team. So we'll talk about Group C. Um, the team that I decided here, I have of course two jerseys. Uh, Ghana uh, is the one and then Morocco the other. Uh, funny enough, I mean, this was the 2010 Morocco home jersey and now they play in red, which if you look at the flag makes sense, but I always liked Morocco in green for some reason. Ghana also. I prefer sometimes more in red than the other way around. But as I already alluded to, um, we are not talking first about Morocco or Ghana or even the other team that has a veritable world star in there. No, we'll start at newly qualified Comoros, which to me is a pretty special thing to have uh, such an unknown team in there. And they are supplied by Macron, which is always a good thing to have a Macron shirt in there. Uh, I actually think they're the only team supplied by Macron because Madagascar, who have ex excellent jerseys. If you haven't seen a Macron Madagascar jersey, they're absolutely excellent. Uh, very similar to uh, design color-wise like this one, uh, but probably there is some kinship, but they had some uh, antelope color as well, which is kind of there as well at this Komodo shirt. Um, and I can I have to say uh, Macron actually did not disappoint in this one. Uh, if you have not seen a national flag of Comoros, it is very colorful. Um, uh, yellow, white, red and blue and then a uh, green um, triangle with the moon and the four stars that we see on the bottom of the shirt. And it kind of is a little bit reflected also in the pattern uh, below. I do like the green. I wonder a little bit about the dark um, shoulder uh, patch here and uh, the, the green sleeves I'm I'm okay and then there's some pattering on the side which maybe could have been a little bit more prominent uh, what I love are the sleeve cuffs which are of course like the Comoros flag really really nice uh, feature there and you see a little bit also down there I think it's a really uh, well crafted shirt maybe the antelope collar I call it no antelope collar uh, is a tad tacky with the gold around because that's maybe one color that the flag does never becomes very colorful but still gonna give this a seven star rating the away jersey basically um takes out all the green uh, i really like the flowery uh, sleeves here um although again i have the issue with the shoulder patch but other than that it's a very very similar design um but uh, we see a little bit more of the pattern now it does this look good i actually think it's 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 decent enough i think it holds a lot of interest again uh if the color was kind of all this green uh in there i think i would be even we be willing to give a higher rating as for the previous jersey but i'm also gonna go seven here and then the third jersey a little bit surprising is in dark blue with a little bit of lighter uh, still dark blue but still lighter uh sleeves very similar to the home jersey except the dark is in the center and light the sleeves out which i think is interesting too uh again a pretty nice sweet shirt i gotta say this is probably my favorite of all these gonna give this seven as well uh but i think of those i mean the green was probably the would would be the go-to but i have to say the blue one uh probably looks uh best among all of these we're switching to the next country which is gabon Obama Young playing there, which are supplied by Kappa. I think they're one of two two Kappa teams uh, at the AFCON. Otherwise, we come much later. Um, in a way, what you would expect from Gabon, uh, I always look at the flag green, uh, yellow, blue. I know Gabon likes to play in yellow, which I think is a great choice. Uh, so we get a plain yellow shirt, but with uh, extreme, with quite some pattering on the sleeves and also on the torso. And of course, there you see, I think it's a panther that's coming out uh, and that's the pack pattern. And you know, if there's an animal on there sublimated, you will always uh, please me. Also, it's nice to have all the national colors in there uh, with the blue Kappa logo. I do hope that the numbers in here will also be blue. So I gotta say, also a really, it's not an exciting shirt, but it's a really nicely crafted shirt and uh, the Panta gives it just a little bit more. I'm also gonna go seven here. Uh, the away jersey, um, maybe that's a, the color is really nice. And also the sleeve cuffs. Um, 
No, it's not a bad jury or choice. I mean, you have all the patterning. It's just the leopard gets lost. Uh, I still, I think I want to go six here, but uh, the colors are really doing it for me here as well. And I think that the uh, best one is actually the third jersey where you really have the flag on there. Yes, there's no panther. Too bad, but you have green, yellow, blue uh, over with a very interesting, uh, almost a cloth-like pattern. I really love that one. That's a great uh, choice. I'm gonna give this eight uh, cup I have having done a really good job there. Then we move on to Ghana, <laughs> and yeah, you saw if you saw already uh, part two with Senegal. Uh, almost everything I said there applies to uh, Ghana as well. I have to say Puma went a little bit too far out for my taste. Now, I actually always like when Ghana is a little bit, uh, the black uh, the white jersey is a little bit more colorful. Uh, so we have here a white, black, gray. Um, I do like the black star in the center, the red color, but I honestly have to say it's too much, especially since the sleeves are black and white and then the main jersey is gray and white. And then the pattering, while I'm sure there's quite some tribal significance in there or, you know, some cultural significance, I shouldn't say tribal, cultural significance there, which uh, would be great. Um, I don't think it's very appealing for a soccer jersey, if you'd ask me. I find this going a little bit too wild. Four stars. And I think it doesn't get better on the away jersey. Yellow, great. I have been uh, longing for Ghana to go back uh, to a yellow and kind of um, then have also a little bit black in there. Uh, this is wild. You also have uh, a little bit of green in there. You have a little bit of red. red. It's kind of the full color, color version of the home jersey. I still think it's a tad bit too much, but you know, here I'm a little bit more willing to give. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give it five because I can see there's something unique in there, but it's still a little, a little bit too much. This is more five for trying than for actually being good. Uh, which is completely different uh, story for Morocco, uh, as plain as it can be, with just a little shoulder patch here that is slightly a different color, um, with similar to what like Serbia had for the away jersey. But I gotta say, it somehow works. It is not, uh, you know, as I said, I like my Morocco in green, but I have to say this uh, red one with the green color um, and then having a little bit on there. For me, this works. I don't expect much more. I think the crest can stand by itself. The shoulders all also do a pretty good job. Um, uh, this is decent. I, I actually, and you know, you can discuss with me, but I actually want to give this seven. Um, and then the away jersey, white with the red shoulders, uh, also works quite well. And then, you know, the, the green from the um, from the logo and from the Puma cat uh, is actually pretty a nice uh, look as well. So, yeah, I got to go say here, it is not, I totally agree, design-wise, there's not much to it. However, it is this uh, simple um, look that I actually uh, like a lot in national team jerseys. You can go pattering on the whole body, but I think with uh, Ghana, they went a step too far here. They've done it quite well. Um, I'm also gonna give this the seven stars and I know this might cause some uproar, but so be it. Hey, it's my review in any case. Uh, please let me know where you agree and disagree with me on these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon with part four. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.